Hello, this is Dr. Bean, and today we're reading SCP-782. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. It's been so long. Item number, SCP-782. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. All known copies of SCP-782 are to be kept at that storage site redacted. Copies are currently in storage. It's, it's occur the total number of existing copies is unknown. Mobile Task Force Capital Redacted, the Bookworms, is tasked with searching libraries, used book stores, and thrift stores for copies still in circulation. Copies of SCP-782 must be stored in a low-humidity environment to discourage decomposition. If possible, personnel handle copies of SCP-782 should not be capable of reading English. So, anyone who was not able to get into the Marines, this is your this is a job for you. English related personnel are to treat SCP-782 as a grave Avriel 07 level mimetic threat. Description SCP-782 is an anomalously republished self-help book entitled Three Easy Steps to an All-New You. No author is listed and its publisher, redacted, closed in 1990 redacted. As Blink was a so-called vanity publisher, none of the individuals associated with it, it remembered or, or such a book. Or indeed, most of the books they published, in addition, and all of a uh, Tommy's records were destroyed, with, and its CEO, o -O Bob, burnt down the E company's head office in an attempt to commit insurance fraud. Due to these factors, SCP-782's unknown origin should not be considered paranormal in nature. When SCP-782 is read by an individual capable of understanding its contents and message, it has a Type-P mimetic effect on the victim. SCP-782 alters the chemistry, connections, and even architecture of the brain. SCP-782's effect occurs in three, in three stages. The three stages occur in various areas of the body over time, generally taking uh, 7 to 14 months, though rarely it can happen in an over or less, and less than a single month. I don't know what the heck happened there. The first stage of the effect is that the victims begin to feel numbness in random places on the body. The numbness eventually fades. The second stage of the effect is that the victim is no longer able to control those areas. The affected individual has no way of influencing the movement of the affected body parts beyond manipulating the body parts the affected areas are attached to. The victim is still capable of sensation through affected areas, especially essentially the affected areas and signals to the brain but not receive them. The second stage is typically brief, generally lasting one to three days. In the third and final stage of SCP-782's effect, the affected area is begin to engage in autonomous movement. The movement of the affected areas may be completely at odds with the desires of the victim, and affected body parts frequently engage in active an activity uncharacteristic of the victim's personality. The body parts will attempt to achieve goals and perform tasks independent of the des e desires of the victim. If hands and throat all become um, affected, communication becomes difficult, if not impossible. Once communicative organs become affected, they will almost invariably begin to attempt communication on behalf of another mind. At this point, it becomes clear that the various affected body parts are not independent from each other, but controlled by another will. Essentially, the total body is controlled by the secondary will which becomes the dominant consciousness of the body. The new personality shares no memories of the old, although they will share all of its subconscious memories, i.e. skills and language. The new personality is no more likely to be malicious than, than a member of the general population. Document 782-1 The following document is a collection of case reports of SCP-782 incidents from the notes of Dr. Er, er, Bob. Case 782 AAA. Victim is 47 years old, male, Caucasian, no history of mental illnesses. 
local priests, campaign against same-sex marriage in the state of Redacted. Checked into local hospital for mysterious numbness. Shift progression began in hands. Victim demonstrated an apparent sudden increase in artistic talent. Cajun D. Hans drew imagery described by the victim as a homoerotic. <laughs> Shift progressed to next to genital area. Victim reported unwanted sexual arousal described as homosexual. Shift progressed. Victim eventually took their own life. Autopsy could include causes of death due to suffocation on tongue. Detached realization by the teeth. So a homophobic priest got a taste of their own medicine and couldn't handle it. Case 782 ABJ. Victim is 16 years old female of African descent. Diagnosed with attention deficit disorder, not considered relevant. Checked into the local hospital for mysterious numbness. Shift progression began in throat. Victim would vocally beg for help, claiming to be trapped inside a strange body she couldn't control. Victim confirmed through written communication that she was no longer in control of her speech. Speech was distressed despite a lack of corresponding body language. Shift progressed to the rest of the body. Speech became less troubled as more body parts came under the new consciousness control. As the victim's hands shifted quickly, the mental condition of the original personality for the final year of its existence is unknown. The girl administered Class A amnestics, returned to family currently living a normal life, albeit under foundation observation. Case 782 ACB. Victim is 32 years old, male, Asian, no history of mental illness. Checked into the local hospital due to sudden, inexplicable blindness. Victim regained eyesight, returned home. Shifts very quickly spread to hands and arms. Due to unknown reasons, victim did not seek medical attention. Shifts very quickly spread to legs. Victim that expunged wife and daughter against his will. Begged responding police to kill him. Currently in foundation custody at site redacted. Shift is not yet total. Document SCP 782A. For the purpose of research, first. And now the following is an excerpt from SCP 782. As it is not being read directly from SCP 782, reading the following document is harmless. The first step to an all new you is rejecting the old you. You've got to throw away all your baggage, all your hang ups, discard all the ellings of the old you. The second step is to find a new you. The best way to find a new you is to look deep inside. Find your childhood dreams and your secret fantasies and embrace that as a new you. The third step is to embrace the new you. You need to allow the new you to completely replace the old you. So that the old you is no more. Yeah, I don't think they meant that literally, but it looks like it manifests that way. Well, that got pretty dark pretty quickly. Pretty interesting. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to do tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!